Hey, check this out. This is an alarm clock, a Bluetooth speaker, as well as a spy camera. And I'm just gonna sh move the camera around and see if you could figure out where the camera lens is. So if you guessed this, you're correct. They put the camera right at the O of radio. And they have two other dots here. And this is the infrared light. And this is a light sensor, which controls how much this, how bright this is in the dark. And I'll show you what that is later. Um, it has a mirror finish. Um, not sure why that is in terms of design. It kind of draws people in want to look at their face on this and maybe it's so that you can't see the camera lens but I could at certain angles like if it's full on I can't see it because it's reflecting the black background behind me so I mean if it's black why not just have LEDs, LED lights there I mean LCD display there um, this is what it looks like at the top you press these buttons it's touch sensitive and um, this is to change the alarm and things like that and control change the time settings uh, the alarm there's only three types of alarm I mean it does function as an alarm clock quite well it also has a Bluetooth speaker as well and it has a like a three watt speaker in there um, that's not the real the, the real function of this the real function of this the main function of this is the Wi-Fi camera which I have here. Huh, it says offline. Nope, there it is. So I press play, I go into it, and there's me recording myself there. And that's the quality of that. It's, it's pretty HD motion alert. Uh, so it just gave me an alarm saying, hey, it detected motion. I have motion detection on. And that's the quality. It's about pretty good um, it's it's 960 P so um, it's pretty high res the the UX is slightly weird in that you press record and then you record right and then you would expect playback to happen and but you won't actually find the recording from that there maybe it is, maybe this is it no nope, that's totally different experience so yeah, exactly. So this section is the recordings of the motion detection. And that's what that was, the motion detection or the schedule recording. But if you actually want to see the recordings where you hit the record button, you actually have to exit this. You exit and then you go to the album section and that's it, that's, that's where it is. These are the manually recorded ones that you press record or you press the camera snapshot. And this is, it's just like uh, you taking a screenshot as you, uh, whatchamacallit, as you travel or you're, you're abroad and you just want to record that versus what the camera took on its own. And that's in the playback section. It's weird. Um, I don't know. Anyways, there's also the message section showing where all the um, video rec motion, rec motion detection disabled. Interesting. Okay. So I did have it disabled. Uh, which is why it was weird when it showed the motion detection alarm. Let's see where it is at. So these are the weird functions. So yeah, record settings is stopped. It just detected motion. It just says motion, but it wasn't recorded anything. So here's record mode, and then you choose motion detection. And then you go back. Let's see, let me just go back. Yeah, motion detection. And then there's the alarm setting enabled. So this is, that makes sense. So there's always a motion alarm, but it wasn't recording anything. And then email settings, I couldn't get to work. I guess you have to figure out what's the S STMP of the server and you have to share your email. If it's a Gmail, you have to share your password as well. I'm not sure I wanna do that because it's stored in their servers. I don't know if it's secure or not. I'll leave that alone um, and just leave it be and just let this become your server um and and i mean let the phone be your uh alarm i mean the messaging is good enough from the app itself there there's the emotion alert again um kicking off after me 
going into the frame. This is only 2.4, by the way. You can't do 5 gigahertz. You need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is that um, gigahertz. And that's pretty much it. Um, let me let me demo some of the interesting things here. You could speak into it. Hello. 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 And you could listen to what's going on. Hey. What am I doing? So it's playing back through my phone because it's listening. It's being recorded from the uh, alarm clock. Does it record audio? Let me just do that. Testing, testing, one, two, three, mic test. And then let me just go back here. Remember, I need to leave album videos and then I'll just play. No, it doesn't record the audio. It doesn't record any audio. And that was reflected in the, um, whatchamacallit, the reviews. Although I think some people just couldn't figure out how, so look here, here's settings. Do, 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 record setting motion. It says record audio, but that's with motion detection, right? Not when you press that. So yeah, let me just go back to the playback. Oh, gotta go here, then go playback. Then motion detection. It does record audio. Only through the motion de alert. So the manual record is quite limited. Anyways, huh, that took a long time because the UX is just, the user experience is just so complicated. Um, let me just show you the rest of the clock. We got uh, a USB charging port there. There's the uh, power cable um, and the FM radio. It's pretty decent. Let me just show you. I mean, it functions as a, oh, this is to turn off the camera. If you hold the power button, you press it once and it goes Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode and it goes Bluetooth, right? And then um, it's connected to my, so you saw that volume change and that's because it's connected to my phone now by Bluetooth and, and this is the song from that. And it has a speaker right there. It's about three watts I reckon based on the volume. All right, and um, FM radio. Let's just uh, press this button, and it goes to goes to FM, and that's what that was. And it, it and let me just turn this off, and it just turns off the Bluetooth. Um, it does auto tuning of FM, and it just pretty much searches for any channel that works, and it just saves it. Uh, there's no way of choosing where to save it. Uh, it's just you just have to save all 20 channels and then it's and some of the half channels that have static so you have to put up with that. Um, to turn on alarm and to turn on the alarm is quite easy. You just hit this and it's already on but if you press it it's I just turned it off. you see the alarm is gone now and this turn it back on during the weekday and just shows you the alarm. To set the alarm you gotta hold this M button. This is setting the clock, and then, then you set the alarm, which is weird. Uh, I rather, you know, and this is the sound. Oh, cool. You could get to hear the different alarms. And that's the alarms. And that's it, those are the alarms. And you're meant, you're meant to press snooze, enter to actually confirm every change. So I was saying that I wish the alarm was the first thing you change, not the time. Like I don't change the time that often. So I would just go through my alarms and then press enter and that'd be all. So yeah, some of the little details that uh, I wish they thought through. But apart from that, um, it, the camera's pretty high quality if you could put up with uh, some of the UX here. I mean, I could, I could literally be around the world and just see what's going on in my flat, in my hidden camera and it's okay. It's, it's pretty good quality. Camera's offline, but it's because I turned it off. Here we go. On. Come on.
There we go. I just heard. There we go. That's the signal to turn on. It takes time to load. And there it is. And there's me again. And then there's the motion detection. And let me just, yeah, just prove it to you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, long-winded review. I thought uh, I'd rather be thorough in case uh, you were thinking about buying this. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.